Hmm. Oh, video back on comms. Swing left a little there. If you got any left. My shoulder down there, it should go. Uh, dang it. Swing back to your left and uh, wrist up. Wrist up? I think so, yeah. No, shoulder down. Yeah, that's going in. Wrist up. There that's we go. Grab. You can just hit jaw lock. The blue button there. Jaw's locked. Nicely done. Okay, now we can reach over and grab that plate. Um, let's get rid of first before we deal with the plate. I don't know if you can reach it. Uh, the hockey puck? Yeah. So. Yeah, pull that. We yellow one out. Got the put, gas, it's those, on. Okay, so. Get what those rings off the front yeah. of the porch. Okay, craft coming back on. Roger. Nope, I don't have a craft. Oh, yeah, sorry, I turned off the uh, valve and the comms. I'll uh, turn it back on for you. So you'll have to wait till it says valid comms there yep. in front of you. And while we're doing that, I'm just going to play with this guy here. So. I have comms. There you do. Um, I'm going to porch out a little so you can see it. So the purple one first, obviously. one was the one purple we keep right? purple we keep that's why i just set it off to the side Roger. i lost the plot there okay. yellow we ditch yeah we can put purple back on if you want I can't see anything. Line grab if you kick the uh, kick the manipulator, you can see. Uh, oh, or <laughs> it's cheating. That is so cheating. <laughs> you can see the purple now. Not cheating if it works. No. Bubble cam is your friend there. Yeah, it's on. Nicely done. 
Okay, if you grab the, see the little shiny bit there? If you grab it by the shiny bit, uh, and put it in the starboard box, which is open for your convenience. Of course, bubble cams, uh, bubble is right where I want. If you use the HD camera and position the arm where you can see the jaw, Well, that didn't do anything. Danny? Yeah? Position the arm in the HD camera so you can actually see the... Oh, put that in the toolbox. Blind grab. Nice. Uh, put it in the starboard box, please. In the starboard box? Starboard box is open for you. Because that, you know, seven five grams of uh, metal is going to help us stay on the bottom. That is a priceless piece of metal that oh. we may or may not have spares for. Oh, I know. I made them. <laughs> you did. <laughs> and every gram counts. Just going to retract the porch here for you, too. Okay, I'm going to pick this thing up and have me a good time. Come in from the right side of it. Get your jaw under it. Nice and slow. No jerky motion. That's a grab. Easy, easy. Yep. Watch the gas yep. tight. Yep. Here, come out of there. Let me reposition the vehicle. Uh, we could swing the... Uh, yeah, yeah, just come out. Stand by. Yep. Beautiful. Well, we're not really dumping pressure with that, with the lat. That's good. Interesting, eh? Okay. Can you oh, get it Oh, much better. Oh, nice Can I get bubble? Uh, if you move the... Uh, you got it in the main camera there. It should yep, be plenty. I can see it. That's a grab. I'll keep it uh, perpendicular in the jaws or parallel. Yeah, keep it flat, it'll slide out of the jaws. Yep. It's so heavy. Bubble on my uh, rotation. Sorry, yeah. Bubble on your rotation. Put it in the back right corner, maybe. It won't cover up all of our other stuff. Drop it right here. Uh, in the back, front. back right corner would be apt. And to your right a little. Yeah, bombs away there.
Okay, now what's our plan? I'm thinking. Well, I mean, craft is secure. Roger. Um, I think our only real option is to let go. So we're sitting here not doing anything. Hold on a second. I want to look at the uh, pressure spikes. Mm -hmm. That should yeah. be rock solid, not bumping around. That's, uh, that's a good idea. Let me uh, change the lights here. So down, down, down. Okay. Up just a bit. Is the system one? Use the mouse, it's uh, a little bit of butter. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to uh, flip the verts here. Actually, I'm going to... Yeah. That's interesting. Rock solid. Full vertical down, it's fine. That's full vertical down. There it is. Yeah, but that's... Like before, I was barely touching. Uh, still 2,000 PSI, plenty. So I come off of it. So I get on it hard and come off it hard. There was that 32. Yeah. Yeah, whatever it is, it's highly intermittent. So it's... Well, the craft is, in, is disabled right now. Do the same test after I enable the craft. Okay? Sure. Craft valve enable. Yeah, we're bleeding in the craft. Possible. That shouldn't change. Can you turn the craft off? Craft secure. Still, so it's after we've enabled and disabled the craft. Maybe that uh, bang bang valve to enable and disable the craft is sticking. So if I turn off craft power and craft valve, which I did before. You might be on to something there, Hinchell. What in the wild, wild world is no, there Drops it goes. To nothing. Okay, inconclusive. The mystery remains. Why, after you do the craft, is it susceptible to... Let's wait for a minute for it to reseat. I still think we're a bit high on the... We can mellow it down, but I think... We're certainly not up in the 3200 range. You might be seeing a spike there, but I'm not seeing it on the gauge. Yeah. It's definitely over three, though. But, like I say, I've got that relief valve screwed all the way in, so... Okay. Uh, let's get on with it. Yep, what's our next step? I think we pick up the bars. Okay. So I need to relax my jaws and pull the magnum out of there? Correct. Jaw release in three, two, one. Well, that's tough. Yeah, I have full authority now. So I can't tell you how well. Shoulder up. Oh, no, now it goes. There, it's gone. Gone. Question from Science Party Land. Science Party Land? Yeah. You got, are you, is a good time to ask a question? I have no control of the vehicle, so you might as well. <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> uh, folks are wondering how strong the robotic arm is, but I don't know how you would quantify that. 
So it depends on the robotic arm. Um, wow, well, we're rocketing up. Mm, not yet. Let's see if I can get control of it here. Okay, so that just bounced off. Yeah, so I basically got to come. Uh, I got to give it like 60%. And then I slowly get control of it. So our rate of ascent is slowly decreasing. Decreasing, still holding pressure. Our rate of ascent has been arrested and I'm now going the other way. It's 5,000 pounds of. Oh, look at tool pressure. Can you hit um, one on the bubble camera? Where are we going to come back down? Interesting. If I turn my joy gain down, it's less likely to... We get another nice view of that uh, crab. And I'm wondering, although I'm not a deep sea biologist, but I would hazard a guess that we might be looking at a deep sea spider crab. These been, have been known to be found at the Endeavour hydrothermal vents. Megan's going to wow you with a scientific name. <laughs> oh, Megan's not here. Sorry. Megan's not here. Lynette, well, it might be written down in front of you because Megan had it written down. Mm, I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> not a biologist. We've got a handy dandy marine life field guide from Oceanarics Canada. So I'm referencing that. I think we need another bean bag before we get the bars. You remember where they were? Off to the left. They were in the initial landing zone before we moved. Correct. Yeah, I have a couple of targets here in high pack that are, gosh, like. Range of bearing. Five meters behind you. Let me check. Behind me. Yeah, like four meters, two, two, zero. Roger. Dan, our delta is pretty low. Do you want me to come no. up on no. our? No, no. Nope. Well, okay. We got enough separation where it's. No, I'm watching the tether there. Zero. Mm -hmm. Is the craft, um, yeah, craft power is off, so. So for folks in Science Party Land, welcome to the Endeavour Hydrothermal Vents. We're in the main field. This is the expedition with Ocean Networks Canada. And we have a number of objectives on this very long dive. I think we're into hour, hmm, coming up to hour 20. <laughs> and uh, we've got a number of object objectives still to go, swapping out instruments, doing some sampling, and yeah, lots of fun. Oh, well, we're having fun, all right. <laughs> Is that your happy voice, Dan? Yeah. To answer the previous question, uh, depending on the manipulator, it can, uh, some of them can lift a thousand pounds off the deck. Right. And they have a jaw closure force of 1,200 pounds. I know the shielding jaws can crush every bone in your hand. Both of these manipulators can and have lift me. It's uh, one of the tests we do to make sure they're happy. 
two two something. Uh, yeah, I have oh, look, something different bags. for you now. Did you find them? Possible. Maybe. Yeah, they are. Possible bean bags. These are glass bean bags that are used um, originally to secure. Uh, we originally started using them to put the uh, seismometers in caissons, but they're also quite handy for weighting cables, variable ROV ballast. I don't know if that's them. I don't think so. Um, try going west. West. I think that's a marker or something. Might be. This west, 270 west. That's the one. Uh, your offset's, you know, 20 meters to the... Everything is 20 meters south. Um, I mean, these were dropped. Oh, with our current? Yeah, with our current. So Roger that. Yeah. West? Yeah. Uh, it's showing you right on top of them right now, so <laughs> hopefully somewhere Plus around here. Plus minus 20 meters. Hmm. Looks like those are those a look job. Those like bean bags, but those look like they're in the... I think they're just holding a cable, just a pile of them there. Back row, you all right if we uh, snag a few of these bean bags here? I guess Back row is like easier to get forgiveness than permission. Looks like that's holding something down, yeah. I have another target about 10 meters west that says cluster of beanbags, if you want to try that this one. This looks like a cluster of beanbags, like a trash pile here. I think this is the cluster. This is um, the cluster. They are sort of... Of course they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you knew where I was going with that. Yeah. We do have a knife. Hmm? What? Yeah. I don't know if I want to mess with that. Is there uh, another? Oh, they're all tied together. And they're choked, aren't they? You're not. You're not on the comms. Maybe here oh, yeah. forever. It's just. Yeah, it might not be a choke. It might just be through once. Right. I can grab a hold of that yellow strap and see if we pull it out. Let me come down here and see if I can. So, if I set the joy gain to uh, less than 50%, I don't uh, dump flow so easily. I'm still dumping, but hobbled to 10 horsepower. Yeah. I think I can grab that yellow strap and pull it apart. Is there uh, any other likely victims around here? Or? Let me see. Give me one second. Uh, I think, I think right there. Yeah, I think just okay. So you're facing which direction are you facing? Northeast, west. Two, three, six. Two, three, six. Okay, so you're facing essentially west. There should be one to your starboard. There's there's a weight there, um, could be a bee bag, J just north. Sorry, yeah, very close. A bean bag. So, we quick to soak this bag open. We'll have a lifetime supply. Yeah, but they're all rigged to be recovered. So, and uh, getting them all on that strap probably took hours. I think they came down. Oh, well, they came down on the strap. Point. Yeah, but I forget why. Yeah. What is exact purpose? So sorry, range and bearing from here. Um, I think just north of you. So north of zero. Right. Two meters, three meters at zero. There could be something there. Spin around and have Are you guys limited to right now just to the magnum, right? Is that? No. 
Okay. Um, we're just avoiding it. Yeah. I, so if we pick up the bars now, we could be good. But then if we go to where the bars is and dump it off, then we're going to be uh, limited. We could try it. I could go for bars now. Just on the other side of that connector you're seeing in your oh belly yeah, cam see, or whatever. See, see. There's one, I think. Is that one? Yeah. There. We might be too heavy, but I wouldn't mind having a few by the tool basket there because we're going to play this game forever. There are also elven weights secured to the sides of the tool basket. Oh, yeah. Are those for our pleasure? That is for, yeah, that's for you guys. I don't know how many are there. Uh, like four? I think there's, there's a, Maybe there. I want to say they were going to put four on. Yeah, I saw them. I didn't, I didn't see the final. I'll check some pictures, but I believe there's four. Oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. Well, we're here. They, they look like um, those ROV weights that you kind of see around. An Alvin weight is a half inch piece of metal, approximately nine inches by 12 inches with a slot in it. And you see them all over. I don't over. see them. I don't see them on there. This is what they look like. Oh, okay. I don't actually have a, I've got a picture of them all rigged next to the tool basket. I saw them in the tool basket. The uh, bean bags will be a little. I'm not sure if that's them. Friendlier for that's us. That could be the. Getting run off the porch. Yeah, not s not and not getting stuck. Was that? Sorry, I didn't see. Was that not a bean bag down there? Or? Yeah, it is. I'm okay. just. Uh, it's okay, gotcha. Right sorry. there in my bubble camera, I'm trying to come down and not land on whatever is there. Could be our milk crate. Could be another milk crate. In milk I crate of science. I think that's a different science milk crate. Anyone tell the bridge to look out for a milk crate in the water? No. It's probably midwater somewhere between here and Pacific Northwest. <laughs> it's so sluggish. Just arrested my upper descent. Slowly coming in for a crash landing. It still has half the chain attached to. I think that was uh, a couple of years ago. We had some gas tights in it. And <laughs> we brutalized it, and then the chain started coming off. And that yeah, was another gas tight rodeo. Gas tights have been causing all kinds of problems. So they are not user friendly. We tried to dump out a milk crate with like four of them in there and it was just uh, yeah, it's been hours. Let me know when I can power up the craft. Uh, I'll have to land first. Get, uh, I barely touch it in it. Uh, my downward descent stops. Oh, there's a piece of chain. Well, it balanced. Dark. If you can find pictures that uh, represent the cable layouts quite well, that would be good to have. Like, kind of like what you're seeing there, just to, if we're ever wondering which cable is over top of which. Okay, I've uh, been taking pictures since the start. Oh, um, perfect. 
We should have enough to do a photogrammetry of the whole site by now, right? It's going to sure. be it's going to be sparse, but just yeah, just get Tom to um to okay, crunch those numbers. Okay, okay. Power coming on. Yeah, we're under. Right, we're calmed. Move again, remember nice and slow, you'll steal my flow. Mm -hmm. Okay, calm down. So we've been searching around for these bean bags. What are, what um, are we planning on doing with Do we have more light? So what's going on with, here? With them? You can see it out there. Uh, those are being used as ballast for the ROV. Currently we're having nice and slow swing a little to the bit right, so. uh, of a hard time balancing the ROV during when it's moving around or trying okay, to perform work. Moving. So we use those for increasing or decreasing the, the weight of the ROV in the water. So depending yeah, on what other things we're working right with, you off. want to have the RV lighter or heavier. That's good and there. Turn it off there. These we kind of move Blue around button. as Blue we button. drop and pick up stuff. Right. So then so do we track where we, we put them? Uh, generally, we make like a note on our site bio diagrams where we left them. Right. But it's kind of like that. Right now, anyways, it's kind of a little bit like that Indiana Jones where he swaps the cup. <laughs> because if <laughs> if you mess it up, the RV might float off or sink or something like that. So. I messed it up. Right on. Beanbag ballast. Yeah, so see right now we're having a hard time getting down to the bottom and using the arm. So okay. once we have that on board, it would be easier. We're not gotcha. going to float off. Thanks for that excellent explanation, Dirk. Oh, all right. Gonna go to your executive room. Conduct business. Can you turn the crap power and valve off too, please? So for folks in science party land, we are at the main Endeavour hydrothermal vents. This was Canada's very first marine protected area. And we are doing a bunch of work on the Ocean Networks Canada infrastructure. You can head to oceannetworks.ca to get more information or Nautilus Live, of course, if you are listening, you're seeing where you can find more information about th this whole expedition. Can uh, why don't you guys do me a favor? Pull up the uh, Herc hydraulic schematic and tell me what one flue A, B, and C are hooked to. Uh, if you got the share on your phone, but you can do it from the ROV computer. Oh, 
you have to go down to the RV computer in the shop. Down the shop? Yeah. What happened to my sonar? Kind of need that. I drifted to the north on it. There's the victim. Is that your bag right there? Yeah. So. Stand by. No, I'm good. Thanks for asking. Uh, yeah, if they want to make me a plate, that would uh, be great. RV, do you mind if I quickly adjust the camera? I'm just not quite sure who I am in terms of zoom. I don't mind. All right, one second. Thank you very much. there from here.
It's a nice view right now, bird's eye view of our, is this is our instrument platform. Yep, that's the northern one. It's JB12 and it's um, connected to most of the instruments here, but also to another platform, that's JB10. Right on. Towards the south. And uh, what do we got on this one? <laughs> 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 All kinds of stuff. We got a seismometer array. We've got cameras. Actually, the camera's down right now, but we have uh, bars, a couple bars. We have ADCPs, um, hydrophone. Um, what else do we have here? Yeah, there's all kinds of different seismic equipment. Seismic sensors, sorry, I should say. Yeah, that's pretty much covers it, but I mean, multiples of each. So in reality, there's, I don't know, a couple dozen instruments off of these two platforms. Um, right on. Can you move the ship uh, 20 meters? You also have larval traps, and you can kind of see them in the corner of your screen right now, those little white spots that look like they're floating up. OK. We, we just deployed those for Fabio yesterday. Not sure what he's looking at or looking for in the larva, but. Fabio, tell us. I'm looking at meroplankton. So this larvae of benthic organisms that we collect throughout a, a year period. So you can better understand how they, so we deploy those at several locations uh, in all of our deep, deep stations. And uh, we kind of, we have several years of this data already. Yep. And we can tell um, a little bit about the connectivity and how this larvae move through all those different ecosystems here. Abyssal plains and the hydrothermal vents and the coat seeps and the canyons. And it gives a bit more information about the taxonomy of the animals that live in this area, which are not very well described. Right on. Thanks, Fabio. You're welcome. So Fabio, our senior staff sti scientist, um, deep sea ecology, marine ecology is kind of your thing, hey? Yeah, that's that's my training. <laughs> right on. Oh. Yeah. All right. Should be. That's interesting. Need to figure out what that does too. Wow. That's a flow dumper there, whatever it is. What's that? Just uh, moving the ship here. I'm struggling to get this damn beam big.
When it rains, it pours. Pick up that flush jar, Danny, and put it in the uh, starboard box. The uh, flush jar. I've never had that happen before. Maybe I'll just ignore it. But if we don't come back here, we'll probably never get it. So see if you can light up the here I'll, I'll turn it on here and yeah, it's on If we can reach out and get it without, we'll probably float up. Set your grip force to five. It's going to be really slow to close, but it will close up. Turn them, turn them just a bit so you can see whether they're closing or not. Maybe six on the grip force. No, uh, it's going to be behave erratically because we're at a thousand psi, so you might have to go nine, which is like six at three thousand. Freeze fail. Quite the collection in our miscellaneous box. it help if I had my mic on. I can hear you got one of your muff off. Getting some practice putting junk in the starboard box. So. Bombs away. Okay, if you want to disable that thing when you're ready and I'll see if I can spin around and just disable it, Danny. Okay.
No luck. Can you hit one on bubble cam for me? Okay. If you can gently reach out there and pick it up. We lost the other one somehow. That's good. Anywhere in there. Yeah, grab that monkey fist. If you can reach it. I was hoping for the chain, but I think it's still attached to the crate. That might be more than we bargained for. Okay, you can uh, stow that thing and we'll so see if we can control the vehicle now. Where do we um, lose the or drop the orange bead bag? No idea. Oh. Is it in the, is it in the mull crate? Right? In the milk crate. Yeah, what's orange in the milk crate? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Was it around here that we lost it? Looks like it could be in there. Well, how come the milk crate went floating? I don't think... No, no, this is not that milk crate. <laughs> oh, it's another one. This is another one. This is so a gas know, tank. You, uh, this is a gas tank box. Am I going to zoom in on the milk crate? No. No? Okay, never mind. It looks like something with orange is in there. Nope, nothing in there. No, there's nothing in there. Yeah, you're right. Weird. I don't oh. think I want the chain. It's going to be a... The chain's attached to the milk crate. It well, like. it's half attached. It's bringing oh. back some really bad memories. <laughs> Does that feel better? No. Still floating up pretty, but we gotta go get a bars and uh, where's the tool basket? Should be back uh, this should way. Should be behind us.
the crowd turned off, Danny? Yeah, hydraulics off. I can turn off the valve if you want. Yeah. I'll leave power on, but... No, turn them both off. There's uh, some spunky wiring there. It won't make it mad. The other uh, big bag, the orange one. Yeah. I think it got yanked off when the <coughs> uh, gas lights came on. These weigh about, um, about 20 to 25 pounds in water, and the isobarics each that we lost are about 16 pounds. Right. So we're quite a bit lighter than what we were before. Yeah, we are. How much was the bar's weight? The bar is 15 pounds. But I think we might grab an Alvin weight here and there on this side. Uh, I'm not. Sh I don't see him on the other side, so probably on this side. But I'm not confident. I see one on the other side. Do you? Where is that? Oh, yeah. Are the gas tanks, but isn't there like four of them on here? They did put four, and they would have rigged the, um, maybe if we, maybe one of these loops here. Yeah. Or there's a monkey's fist there and there. I'm betting that's likely them. Roger. I'm taking a loop tied to them. That's all perfect. I see our bag we lost. To be back. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm assuming it's this this monkey's fist there. Yep. And there's a couple of them right in front of us, and then on the other side there's one. This one opens the hatch or the door. The uh, monkey fist on the inside, I can see it in bubble. Yeah. Do we need to hold on to the box to do this? Uh, I don't know. Energize craft? Right it. Stand by for comms. Oh, there's a second one, but it's just a sinking monkey's fist. Yeah, that's, I can see it there in the other camera. It's your victim there. I'm going to go out and wide. I would come in on the left side of the post uh, too close to that post I can't swing into it yeah you can't to the camera there. Sitting right so. low. <laughs> Not sure where you're going there. Um, but too close to that center post, I can't get the arm over. Can you pivot? I think you can get it over. I mean, I can push us away. Well, I can pivot. So. Maybe. 
Oh, I'll have to turn it off. I think I can go up and over if I need to. Yeah, let's see if I can get the vehicle to sit down again. Okay. You good? Yeah. It's a nice <coughs> in your face monkey's fist. Uh oh. It doesn't look promising, does it? Well, it might just be a, a very long one. Get the other one. That one's ridiculously long. Well, no, grab that one. We'll cut the thing off if we have to. Yeah, they should be no more than about 300 millimeters long. Yeah. <laughs> Any longer than that. In there. Sorry, <laughs> I never looked at the uh, rigging here. This is pretty, well, it kind of, I think it, there were some hidden loops behind that tape. Yeah, but any longer than that, they, you know, get fouled up and stuff on the ROV. Yeah. So, like, we can't put that one in the box because... Put it in a toolbox in front, maybe. Or well, just want to put it on the no. porch. Uh, let's put it on the porch, see what happens. Hold on. Don't stab me in the eye. Be rack back. I am racked back. Put it right behind that Fletcher. Sure. If you just unwind, it'll land there. That's kind of my plan. Maybe you can, uh, yeah, we we'll just have to deal with it in our face. Get the flash drive. Thank you. Um, hold on. Let's what am I going to do with the monkey fist? What do you want to do with the monkey fist? I don't know. Um, uh, I want to cut it off or put that back in the box. And I right. mean, it's, if you let go of it, it's going to get all tangled up in the gas tight. And I could cut it <laughs> off. I don't know if this jaw could do it, but... <laughs> Did 
Let me tangle this guy and I'll make a, I'll grab that Hold knife on. and slice it. Hold on. Uh, wrap it back up and. to the album, or to the uh, magnum. You can uh, twist it back up on the arm, Danny. I was trying not to move the weight. You'll have to twist it back up tight. Oh, you're going to cut it with the magnum? Oh, I'm going to put the magnum in the plate and uh, put the plate in the magnum. Crab's gonna come help. Okay, let me see it. Okay, there we go. Bring this guy up. There we go. Can't see what I'm doing, so. Let me see the manipulator. Sorry, my patience is getting a little thin. Oh, you're in. You're not in. Let me see it. Okay. I ain't gonna do the knife anyways. Okay, lock the jaw. Uh, that blue line is pretty strong. Stronger than our craft, apparently. Oh, 
Let's grab that knife and slice it. Swing the magnum up. Uh, oh, maybe I can get it from here. It's challenging part, getting the knife back on the magnet without dropping it. Okay, open the jaw. And you can park the magnet. Okay.
You guys want to switch out, Denny? Ready for a break? Okay, I know. Well, why don't you take a break and then let Jake in there and then uh, no one says you can come back something. and replace Jake and put, because uh, I'm going to want out of here. Yeah, go get something to eat. And Jake can, uh, you can hop in there for a while and then you, you got dinner, did you? Yeah, why don't you hop in there for a while, Danny, take a break, and then um, Danny come back and replace Jake, and Jake can replace me. And you're stuck here forever, Jake. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm going to need to get out of here for a while. Okay, are we getting more weights? Or are we happy? More miserable. Are you happy? You're always happy. Never been happier. How come you're always happy. Some chances. Some done. On. Swing the uh, oh, I got it. Okay. <coughs> I think our mission now is to grab the bars out of there and um, grab the bars. So those two T handles right in front. The, uh, the black tea handle is the one you're going to want to grab. Black tea handle. Yeah, and well it's held in by a bungee? Yeah, the bungee that's behind the purple handle there. Okay. Needs to be released. Hopefully it's this one bungee. Okay. Um, I could get us away a little bit if you want. button. Come on. Don't do this to me. Gonna steal your bubble cam for a second. Roger. You don't need it, do you? <laughs> it's 
moving target, Jake. I'm moving the <laughs> crops out there, sorry. Didn't realize it was down so far. I can get that So securing the thing. I think that was it. One bungee. Yeah, just one bungee. Are we heading? I, th I think that's it. Okay, so you see the black T handle? Yeah. We're going to want to pick it up with the jaws pointing Roger. straight down. And uh, we're just going to pick it straight up out of there and uh, put it over the porch and we'll hold it in the manipulator the whole time. Back row, are we heading back to where the old grotto bars is? That is correct, yeah. Okay. And there's a probably the best way to get there would be kind of on the way to the IP-ish, you'll see that blue cable and we can follow that blue cable around the east side of Grotto. Okay. That's better and easier than taking Roger's pass. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, while you're playing with that, Jake, take your time here, I'll take a quick bio break, okay? Roger. So, what are we doing with this guy? You want to put it on your porch. Okay. The one annoying thing about these, sometimes the feet sit stick through the Yeah, the I grating. noticed that when, when we were rigging the other one yesterday. Yeah, and that's frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, if you can put the front half maybe on top of the bead bag or maybe the bead bag's high enough so that you can put the body of it on top of it without yeah, okay. getting into too much trouble. Yep. Let's see if I can tell. You also have that plate, so if some of the legs are on the plate. Yeah, uh, other way. up. This way? Yeah. Tell me when. That's good. And then, can you rack back? Yeah. It's the back one? Yep. Retract. It might already be all the way back. Uh, yeah, we might be all the way. Yeah. It's not moving. I might be able to zoom out just a touch. Yeah, if you can zoom out. Yeah, not a ton on there, but just a little bit. Yep. I think your porch is kind of buried underneath. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> That's the other bead bag. That's the other bead bag. Okay. I have to porch out.
Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure. Good T handle grab there. I don't think you do. No. No, I want it right at the T handle slot. Okay. Well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be maybe a challenging spot where we put it, so we want to okay. make sure we don't drop it when we go off. So now would be the time to make sure you have a good T-handle grab. <coughs> so if you want, you can pick it up and Roger. rotate it just a little so I can see. I don't think you... No, you don't have a good grab on it. Yeah. Sorry, I should have... You can put it in an angle if you want to get a good grab. The T handles are challenging to get in the. Let's see if I can uh, play with the lights here, maybe, or something. Yeah. Uh, can you see? I can't see. Can you do zoom video? Roger that, going for a zoom. How's that? It's good. Thanks. You're in a little oh. deep there, I think. Yeah. Lock that baby in. Locked. Locked and frozen? Yep, frozen. Look at that. 3,000 PSI. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, we're going up uh, around the right side, are we? Can't hear you. You're off comps. <laughs> that is correct, yeah. Is that Herx in the Argus view? Is that Herc or is that the camera at Grotto? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That's probably Grotto. Uh, uh, Herc would be we're looking. Lights. We're right underneath at the moment. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's likely Grotto. And we'd kind of approach it from around the right side and then back around the back of it. Right. Follow the cables. Follow the blue cable. Okay. Right. Did you want to try moving north to find the cable? No, I don't want to go anywhere yet. We've seen the blue cable already when we picked up this beat last beat bag. Okay. The, uh, how far away is it on the, on the nav in theory? In theory, about 42 meters. This uh, Atlanta zoomed in. Uh, let me double check. What? Shouldn't be. Shouldn't oh. be. I thought you said, uh oh. I was like, oh no. Nope, doesn't seem like <laughs> it. I don't. But, um, 42 meters. Okay, I think we're going to want to move uh, 0, 0, 5, 20 meters or so, but let me get out of here and okay. get going. And You'll be all right with the craft right in front of the face? Right all there. right, yep. So we're going to roll. If we have to turn it off, then it'll pin the instrument, hopefully. Okay. That's what I'm worried about, right? That's what's yep. gonna, we're we're gonna, we're we got to keep it live. Live, live, totally live.
Would you like me to pull video wide? Yes, please. Pull it wide. Adjusting to get the housing out there. Where's I racked the, the porch now? out a little bit when you were gone. Oh, you did? Just a little bit. Just a touch. <laughs> Good job. Uh, pinned us there. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what's holding. Do we float or do we sink? What do we do? Looks like we're floating up. Slowly. Lynette, do you know <coughs> if you have pre programmed the um, beacon that's in the tool basket? Uh, let me double check. There's one sitting in there. Remy came back, came down, and uh, Renny came down and took the numbers down. I don't know if it made it in there. Yeah, it looks like we do have it in sonar dyne ready to go. Um, <laughs> this is a question. Can you try pinging it so we can confirm that it's turned on? Uh, sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is he the one that last saw it? He's the one. No one knows whether it's turned on except for maybe AJ, who could have, but he's asleep. Yeah, Got it him. is. It is giving us a position. It's sending a signal. Yeah. So it is on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Never doubt AJ. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. That's great. We can turn it back off if it's annoying. We don't need to interrogate it right yeah, now. Yeah, I just turned it off. Okay, are you ready for that move, Dan? Um, sure. Two zero zero four five. Sure. Bridge now. Can we move two zero meters zero four five, please? Thank you. Well, I really did tumble down. Well, this is a suboptimal tool basket location. Mm, it's a great tool basket location. You talk if you want the stuff to auto deploy, yeah. I'll roll out down the bottom. Oh, you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep the tailgates open. Yeah. I still think a tool basket with a dropout bottom floor is the way to go. Just bombing all your stuff out on the seabed. <coughs> The one that's going up in the really fun place up on the side of a cliff. Yeah, if you <laughs> the better one to follow is a. I'm gonna get a better diagram here. So once the blue one is gonna eventually end, it's been the connector's been cut off. That's the old Tempo Mini cable. Yeah. But then there's also the. I'm just trying to find the best one because I can't really see the color. I think it's green. Those oilies are the better cables to follow, anyways. Yeah, they all go. The green just goes to an ADCP over to your right. That's not the one we want. Did you, um, was it this shift that surveyed Grotto earlier, or this will be the first you're seeing it this time around? Well, first I've seen it in a while. Okay. Has it changed much? 
Uh, the the one side of it completely fell off, but the the little you know that little deck porch yeah. dealy that's still yeah. there. Yeah, not much of it left though, is it? Yeah, this is the other side. It kind of slipped off. Yeah. It I thought it was 43 meters. <coughs> well, I got further. Up here, do we not? Um, so the target I have is more here. So this is it pretty much ahead of you here? The yeah. Behind those two worms up the shelf. Yeah. Uh, you want to go to the left? up? No, the to the right. To right, follow the cables around yeah, this around. kind of yeah, 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 yeah. tube worm deal. So we used to have all those cables that came around Rogers Pass, and then uh, these yeah. cables on this side, and then the, the uh, avalanche, I think, fell on all the Rogers Pass cables. Really? S sever separate, like severing most of them. Is Rogers Pass still there then? Or I, don't think, I don't think, since every time I've been here, we've never taken Rogers Pass. We've mm. always come around this side. Herc fits through there. <laughs> What's that? It used to. <laughs> Uh, it used to be the go-to route, I think. Yeah. Everyone just talks about how crazy it is. I don't know what those white things are. Maybe not two worms, maybe just... Yeah, Fabio, do you know what that would be? They look like two worms. This looks like I don't have the main ROV. Can let me let me come closer. Are those two rooms or what's that? Come down uh, I'm going seven down. meters. What are those things? Okay. Yeah. Those are all two rooms? It's kind of thin. Expired two brooms, I would say. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I, okay, gotcha. Looks would like an old grass bluff. Would it be good to see if we got a close-up on it? Would that be easier to identify what it is? Uh, Fabio knows exactly what it is. I just... Fabio knows. Fabio knows. I just don't. More, I would say more his expertise. You wanna change that, mo uh, Fabio? You wanna change that monitor above you to be the main big screen? Maybe can there's you help a, him? There's a button there on your panel that says Herc Zeus, and that'll make that top monitor ROV. If you need help, I can pop back. I, I, how do I do top? Because I know the other ones you can do left and right. I'll pop right back and get that on for and you. I don't wanna, uh, I, video op comms for a hot sec. I don't want to lose the steel camera control monitor. Oh, you're missing some good still here, Fabio. Just a it's blank it's wall. It's very dark. <laughs> it's very dark. And then dark. you call. <laughs> okay, it's very dark right. and manipulated. I just was afraid to lose this one. That's a Green River dive knife, uh, by the way. Made in New Zealand. Okay. Oh. It's a very rare knife on our OG system. On top. All right. So yeah, those are your were Riftia tube worms. Riftia. Video back on comms. All right. They can be, and those are the same species as the one we see that are thicker with those bright red, uh, um, how do you call it? Now I know where Rankia. I am. I there we go. 
<laughs> so this is the camera we will be recovering at the towards the end of the dive. I just put this camera here two years ago. I thought yeah, so the lights are it's working, but yeah, the camera is no longer working. Huh? The lights still work, but camera doesn't work. Oh, uh, I don't know. That's what's strange. Something's wrong with it, but yeah, yeah, we're recovering it anyways. We're placing Temple Mini, I guess, later yeah. on. Yeah. So if you look to your left. You can see that cable that I was talking about. Um, uh, and up on the hills where the current bars is. So we could probably place this bar somewhere, maybe on the, maybe back there. Just on the uh, outside of the grating there somewhere so that we can go deal with the old bars first. But if you want to have a quick look, see what we're going. Can I get another? Um, it's in here. Uh, let's see which way is that. Uh, yeah, another two zero zero four five. What do you want in two zero zero four five? Yes, please. Bridge nav. Yeah, so this is the short little Can bar. Can we have scale. another two zero meters zero four five, please? Thank you. Basically, I need to put Adeland on top of us because just pulling the tether around like this is too much. Not enough jam. No oh, jam. So you can see here, there's the bars wand cable yeah. up there. And the bars is sitting right in behind there somewhere. I'm going to have to wait for Atlanta. I can't uh, <coughs> fight the tether in. Keep it down where I want to, the current. Ten meters left on this move. No, okay.
while we're standing by, um, would this be considered like a regular vent that we're looking at? Is there such a thing as a regular Re vent? <laughs> <laughs> it's very regular, in my opinion. Yeah? Very regular. What's, what's, so like what's the, regular about it? The, yeah, what's regular about it? Wow, you see the hot smokers there? Yeah, you see some diffusive flows. So the, essentially the minerals are um, precipitating and you see the, you know, you have the hydrogen sulfide coming out, in contact with the water. And you have the hydrothermal vent fauna in there. You have the tube worms that we saw earlier. Regea, there's a bunch of limpets. You see those white, white little dots you see on the rock? Those are gastropods. And there's a bunch of other uh, polychaete worms. Oh, we'll see from right close to the hot, very hot, uh, dark smokers. You have the alvinellid polychaetes. They'll be sampling hopefully later uh, through this di in this dive. If we can. If we can. If we can. How's that suction sampler doing? <laughs> mm, it's wounded <laughs> like the rest of us. I was wondering what's the difference between like the clear matter that comes out of the vents versus like the black? Um, I'm no vent expert, but I assume it's like the amount of sulfide and other chemicals. Uh, there's a lot of um, metals uh, that come from the uh, from the upper mantle, and I think I guess is the composition. Essentially, we were collecting some uh, Niskan samples in the previous dive, and and later in this dive, hopefully, the scientists at UVic are interested in the actual composition of those uh, minerals. Uh, and chemicals, and yeah, the white smokers and and the and the black smokers they differ on the the quality of the the minerals coming out and quantity. You hit one on the buble, buble, buble one. So one. One thing while we're here that we can think about is uh, landing zones, but also our connector, if you look at the connector coming up off this cliff here, that is a regular PVOF. So the connector that we have on our porch with the Fletcher plate is actually a receptacle. But to put it in the Fletcher plate, we likely would have to land the ROV so that the cable can extend below through the, it goes through, right? So it's a continuous cable. So the cable would have to go through the Fletcher plate and down. So we can't mate it when it's sitting flat on the bottom. If that makes any sense. I mean, I can, you'll see once it's off the porch. Right. And just a curiosity, this tube warm bush that you see on the video probably one of the best studied tube warm bush <laughs> in the history of science because we have the Temple Mini camera installed there for at least six years collecting videos every few hours uh, so quite a few Hook scientific, scientific yeah. papers Hook it up there have the been tube worm generated bush. based on Putting that data. Putting it in the tube worm bush? Very gently, yeah, just pick it up and uh, put it forward right there between the two green grates see also some large gastropods, Bucinum thermophilum. Does a, a, the large Try and reach out on the other side of the hill there if you can. Fabio, do you think this area where Temple Mini is used to be more active than yeah. what it is today? To the left. left oh, to left. the left. Yeah, out uh, right, right yeah the last few uh, years we saw the vents uh, change quite a bit in terms of the, the hydrothermal activity. Um, we want to go out more. The cameras we had, this camera side. actually, that 
we installed two years ago, uh, or maybe, uh, yeah, two years ago, I think. Mm. I was on the cruise 2021. Uh, since when we, inst when we turned on the camera, uh, it was when we lost uh, Herc. Do you remember that? <laughs> we I lost Herc in the bottom of the ocean. Well. Uh, so that cruise, after we turned the camera on, we had this view of very exciting, to come down uh, on your shoulder. hot, vent, new hot vents created um, that oh. were not there the year before. And they collapse. There was a collapse, away. and it was to the right. Yeah, no, further away. Yeah, that's better. Away. Missed that one. Yeah, uh, that was a. There has been some change in the past few years. Is this? Would you say this um, landscape in front of this camera is very similar to um, kind of the landscape in front of the Mothra camera? Yeah, yeah, those same two worms. I think there we have more bacterial mats. Uh, it's kind of yeah, landing on the kind of a ridge. Roger. And um, yeah, there's it's kind of a flatter area, but there's also okay, lots, of, of lots of ridge uh, to worms. Yeah. Okay, so. Here you can clearly see in the video. Okay, put the arm away and turn it off. Yeah, once you're once you're ready, I'll just explain what I'm talking about. Normally, when we put these parking positions in the end of one of these oilies, we uh, can yeah. put this right in the Fletcher on the plate. But uh, this Fletcher has a through cable, just like that one. So we'd likely have to park the ROV with the Fletcher over a gap or over this gap or something, so that we can make that connection. In, inside the Fletcher plate, if that makes sense. Because this, this is going to have to sit off the ground. It's not going to be flush with the porch. And both of those, the crane cable goes into the Fletcher plate, is what you're saying. Yeah. Or we have mate, unmated these types of connectors before by using um, yeah. opening the, yeah. the magnum I'm sure you've seen that it's just not as effective no but what do you want to do first go get the bars first out first we have to go get the bars out Roger so just the camera is still on your side here and then and the one I'm going to unceremoniously push off the cliff here <laughs> <laughs> We put that camera on that grate there, didn't we? Yeah, uh, yeah. Tw probably I was just talking about that 2021. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was a scary moment. <laughs> <laughs> Had your seat. Dan, you're here, right? Yeah. Uh. And we put the camera on the plate there and played around with little tracking plates. Yeah, look, Didn't this is where the slide was. It all fell off on the right there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. And if you, you got <laughs> distracted, <laughs> go look around. But you've already seen all that, have you? Yeah, we've actually, most of the cables were severed of the oilies, but one was trapped under the rock the size of a wheelbarrow with about two feet of length left to the connector. Mm -hmm. And it's still, the cable was still working, so we plugged the hydrophone in down there. Nice. It's right at the bottom of the cliff, though. Okay, so here we're looking at the wand. That's a little float up there. And this